What's up everybody? Welcome to a new YouTube video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a full Place It tutorial. Place It, you guys probably already know about it. It's a great tool. It's a very effective tool for us marketers, print on demand sellers. Maybe you sell on Etsy, maybe you sell on eBay even, maybe you even have your own store. It's a very, very useful tool. There are many uses for it, and I promised that I would make this video for a while. I never really had the chance to, but I'm going to make it right here, right now. So, the thing with Placeit, guys, is Placeit is one of those essential tools that I use along with other tools, as you guys know about. And for my essential tool list, Placeit is pretty high up there. Now, there are a few reasons why, all right? And I want to talk about that. The first thing that I generally do is I do marketing on Instagram. As you guys know, I've done countless amount of Instagram videos in the past, but Instagram is a place where we can literally give a visual, uh, I guess you could say, a visual aspect to our product, right? It, it, Instagram is especially beneficial for the selling point of view. In fact, I've said this before, but Instagram is one of the easiest platforms to actually sell on and make money through. It's a very, very valuable tool. It's my favorite tool for social media sales. Now, the thing is with Instagram is that we can create, you know, different types of marketing, different types of promotion or content through Instagram through Placeit. Now, there, there are different ways that we could do this. We could create a mock-up, as you could see here, if you're trying to sell a product. You can create an image like this. You can do a lot of different things. You can, you know, create intros to your videos on Instagram, outros, whatever you really want to do. The thing is, is that's one aspect to the ball game here when we use Placeit. And if I was to make a video, guys, where I would list out, like, the most valuable tools or anything like that, Placeit would be on the list. Now, once again, these are one of the tools that you can expect to be a normal kind of thing in your routine of using, right? And I could make a video in the future about, like, normal tools that I use every single day in my print-on-demand journey, in my marketing journey, things like that, but... Place it as high up that list. Now, what else do I use Place It for? Well, I use Place It for my niche blogs. A lot of the times, I might want to create like an image for a blog. So I'll type in, for example, a blog here. And I might want to create a banner. I might want to create a post, right? Something like this. I might want to create a different uh, banner for that specific blog post. So something like this would fit really, really well. I might want to create a sidebar image for my blog. There's a lot of things that I could do from that aspect alone. Now, majority of the people that are watching this, maybe you guys are not bloggers. Maybe you're a print-on-demand seller. Well, this ties into the print-on-demand sales process. As you guys know, when we create designs for print-on-demand, whether you're selling through your own website like Shopify or whether you're selling on a platform you don't own like Redbubble, TeePublic, uh, and, and the list goes on. I mean, I could sit there and list things for days, you're going to need a place to do your marketing. And this is, the marketing is a little bit more pro. It's a little more expert. It's going that extra mile, right? Now, don't get me wrong. You can get traffic and you can get sales without doing the third-party marketing. Now, if you guys remember, not too long ago, I made a video where I was talking about the core, prince, not principles, but the pillars to success with print on demand. And one of the things that we talked about was everything that you could do on the site and then things that you could do off site. And one of those things that you could do off site is social media marketing. Now, with social media marketing, I'll just give you guys the shortcut right here, right now. The one thing that makes you super successful with social media marketing, regardless if you have bots or no bots, is you need to have lots of content. Something that I realized and something that I uh, really invested early on in the beginning when I was selling the white label clothing, as you guys know with the clothing company, something that I really, really learned was content is what made me sales. When I presented my different products in different ways with different images, different angles of shots, different models, different, you know, things like that, it produced me more income. I was able to show my product in a different light in different ways. And those different ways that you show your product hits people in a different way and makes them buy in a different way. I mean, we could all relate. For example, we see a product on a certain model, doesn't necessarily catch our attention. Maybe we see a commercial a month down the line, a week down the line, and all of a sudden, we're now interested in that product. Just the way that it's presented to us makes a huge different difference in how we perceive the product and how we purchase the product. 
Now, one of the things that with us with print on demand is we need models. We need people to show off our products. One of the big reasons is because people want to see the t-shirt designs on them, right? So uh, with Placeit, you can easily just search for model, okay? This is going to be a complete tutorial with Placeit. So when you search for a model, you have all different kinds. You have people, you have video, right? Something like this. You have a lot of different things that you could use this for. Now, if you're in the print-on-demand space, then you have to be a vigilant. You have to be aware of what's most likely going to sell for you. So, for example, let's say you create a design that looks really good on a hoodie. Doesn't necessarily mean it's going to sell on a duvet cover, for example. Now, that's not to say that it won't, but you just want to figure out logically what design is going to work best for the piece of clothing that you're going to sell, or or essentially the the garment, whether it be a duvet cover, whether it be a puzzle, whether it be you know whatever whatever it is, right? You want to figure that out. Now, something that I also want to say is that you also want to look at the actual model, like the person representing the product. I'll explain what I mean. For example, okay, if I'm going to sell, let's say, let's just use, for example, I have a, I have a t-shirt or a design that I create for Redbubble about beards, like, like a beard club type of shirt. Let's just use, for example, right? What I wouldn't do is I wouldn't take that and I wouldn't put it on her, for example. You guys see on the left-hand side, there's a model here that's wearing like this red t-shirt. I wouldn't take that and I wouldn't put it on her or, or, or this image or even this one. I would put it on this one, for example. Why? Well, it's obvious. The guy has a gnarly beard, right? That's kind of my point here. So what you want to do is you want to be smart with the way that you pick your designs. And now that you're aware of that, you want to be aware also of... The different things that you're going to create designs for. So, for example, if you're going to create a T-shirt that says, let's say, uh, you know, thousand pound club. For those who don't know what the thousand pound club is, it's a weightlifting T-shirt. When you lift a thousand pounds, when you add them all together, your bench, your squat, your deadlift, it's a thousand pound squat, no, a thousand pound club, right? You wouldn't want to put it on this model or this model, right? You want to put it on a model like this, right? And the reason why is because your audience that's going to purchase your product through social media or, you know, wherever you're deciding to market your product, they have to feel a connection to that model. They have to feel a connection to that actual person. They have to be able to look at that person and look at themselves almost, right? This is a lot of the times when you see in stores, for example, let's just say in the big and tall area, you're not going to see models that are short and skinny. You're just not going to see it. You're going to see big and tall models. The same thing for, uh, let's say, Victoria's Secret. You're not going to see models who are, and I'm just going to keep it real, plus size. I mean, maybe, you know, maybe they might have plus size later down the road, or maybe they're doing that now, but you go back 10, 20 years, th that stuff didn't exist, right? You sell to the audience that you're, you essentially use the model. You, you want to correlate and associate the audience with the model. The audience has to have the same characteristics as the actual model. Now, the cool thing about Placeit is they have literally thousands, and I would even say millions, of different images and different resources that we could use. I mean, I don't know how many photos here on this page, maybe 50, 60, but you can see here just for the word model, 591 pages that you can look through. And you can have tons of different kinds. So what we're going to do now is we're actually going to create our first design, first t-shirt design. And so I'm just going to type in the word beard here, beard, and I'm going to enter because I want to create my first t-shirt design. Now, you can see here there's a lot of models, but I want to type in beard shirt maybe. Maybe beard shirt, or maybe I will just have to create it myself. We'll see right now. So yeah, a lot of the, the models are just kind of like... Uh, you know, essentially drowning out the, the results. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to write t-shirt design. Let me go ahead and do that. T-shirt, t-shirt uh, design, right? T-shirt design template. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select any one of these. So let's just select this, for example. Actually, let's go back. Uh, this is a nice thing with place it is I get to choose, uh, you know, what I want here. I'm going to pick something pretty basic. So Let's go with something like this, okay? And what I'm going to do is instead of this arrow, I'm going to search for the word beard, okay? And I'm going to look for something like this, right? So I like this, this setup right here. I'm going to enlarge this just like that. And uh, I'm going to, instead of this Mr. Always Right, 
we're going to have a professional professional let's see how this looks beard grower right something like this professional beard grower and what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to make these other ones lowercase because i want to make this look a little bit better but you could see here i'm actually creating my design right here within place it and you can do this and like i said this is one of those essential kind of tools for me now whether i'm going to be creating my design in this software or other softwares i still want to keep in mind that i have to realize that marketing is going to play a big role in the sales that I'm doing now I've shown this before but way back when I made one of my first videos of when I used to sell on merch by Amazon uh, there were days where I had 10 12 14 sales a day just marketing my products on Instagram right and the reason why I was able to do that is because I had a plethora of content that I was selling through right and that video is still up on YouTube if you guys want to go ahead and take a look at it but <clears throat> excuse me you can see here, professional beard grower, okay? And what I want to do is I just want to make sure everything is, you know, checks out right. Let's go ahead and see here. And it does. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go with the background that is transparent. So I'm going to select this transparent button. Now, don't worry. It seems like, you know, the, the word professional is almost gone, but it's not. The background is transparent. We're going to go ahead and hit download here. Now, once again, the reason why this is is because what we're going to do is we want this design, the way it looks right now, to show up on a t-shirt. We don't want this background color to be slapped up on our design. It's just not going to look professional. In past videos, when I used to do Redbubble reviews, I actually used to talk about this a lot, but a lot of people find it okay to just download the image with no transparent background. And maybe you might be using a software that doesn't allow you to have to pay extra for that. But with the good thing with Placeit is you get all that benefit for all the same price. And by the way, if you want to join Placeit after seeing this video, go ahead and click the link in the description. They have free designs and they also have paid designs. I'm using the paid version, but you guys can also use the free one as well. And they give you transparent backgrounds for the free ones as well. So keep that in mind. So I'll leave that link in the description box down below. But you can see here, we got our design. Now we have to find our model. So I'm going to type in model again because I want to use that same that same guy for the, for the model, the guy with the big beard, right? And we're going to go ahead and actually, you know, instead of model, let me type in beard and let's see what comes up because there might be different models here. Beard model. Let me type that in. And instead of designs here, I'm going to click all categories. And I'm going to go search. And you can see here, now we got all different types. And so our design can align with different groups. Let's go ahead and select this guy first, right? It's kind of like a sideways aspect to our t-shirt. Let's see how it looks. I'm curious to see how it looks. I'm not even sure yet. So let's go ahead and select upload from device here. And let's go ahead and select this design. And we have this design. I like my designs to be a little bit upward, a little bit you know, like on the top a little bit, kind of like this. Now, obviously, I can't go with a black t-shirt design. I, excuse me, a white one. I got to go with something dark, something like this. I can go with green as well. Green looks great. Uh, I want to see if we can go with something like a brown. Um, let's go ahead and see here. We have custom. Let's see what we can get with custom. And actually, you know, orange is not too bad. Um, I want something that's maybe even this green. Let's go ahead and select that green. That's pretty good. Like, to me, that looks decent. We can also go with a black, right? We can go with something like this. So you got all different colors, right? And you could show it to different people. And so we have one aspect of our design here, right? Let's go ahead and head back here into inst uh, into place it. Let's see another design here. We had another person. We could use this one. Let's go ahead and click on this one. And let's upload the same design. Let's just go ahead and do that. Let's go over here. Hit upload and let's select, where is it here? This is the one. Drag it upward just a little more here. And you can see here it looks like that. Now let's go ahead and go with black or let's go with brown, something like this, right? So that looks really, really good in my opinion. Um, we can go with green as well. That looks good. Professional beard grower. And 
to me, this is a sellable shirt, not just because of the design now, but because of the outside marketing. Remember that when we do this, what we're really doing is we're putting this all together, right? The marketing plays a role the same way as the design plays a role. If you have a tremendous design, you have no marketing, and you only sell one design online, you're going to have a hard time selling. This is something that I had a discussion with the other day with somebody in the comments is that it's, you know, obviously there are people who have only one or two designs and they're massively successful. But if you think of the chances, the mathematical chances of being that individual, those chances are drastically low, right? But if you take it a different way and every single time you sell something, every single time you create a design, right? comes from all different kinds of products that you're creating, what you're doing now is you're increasing your chance to be more successful on any platform, right? It's the same thing as if you own your own website and what people are doing is they're visiting your website, but you don't have enough products. You only have one product. What is the likelihood that you're going to get a sale? It's a smaller likelihood. But imagine if you have hundreds of products, 30 products, 50 products, 90 products, now you're increasing your chance of getting a sale. And we can all agree on that, right? So next thing you want to do is you want to figure out, okay, how many different models that I could do? The same way that we have many different t-shirts and, and different designs, we can create different models to show off our products so that we can appeal to different audiences, right? Remember that the customer has to look at the model and say, okay, I'm looking at myself here. This looks like a good product and it works for me. The reason why people are able to sell and big companies are able to make money and appeal to you is because their goal is to appeal to you. But the only way they could truly appeal to you is if their if you can picture their product in your possession. It, that's really the key there. And if you could do that, then essentially they know they have a winning product. And that's how companies become more successful. And so this is exactly what this software does for us is it increases our chance of sales because we have these different models. We have these different scenarios that we can market our product. Okay. So this is just one aspect. Now, what I would do with this guys is there are different ways to sell through this. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and pull up a whiteboard here so I can explain exactly what I'm talking about. Now we have our pictures, right? And I want you to think of this as content. Okay. But our, really what our content does is that it connects to our store. So actually, let me go ahead and cross this out. Let me refresh this. And let me type in the word store here. Okay, we have our store. Now, whether you're selling through your own website, whether you're selling through someone else's, you have your store. Then you have your content. Now, the reason why I have a real big box that says content and it's bigger than the word store is because your content should be larger in quantity than your store. So for example, if you have, let's say, 100 designs up on your store, you really should have a lot more content to utilize as a bank to promote your store. Does that make sense? Think of your content as your currency. It's your money. But it's not money that's liquid. You have to convert it into money. It's the best way that I could really explain it, right? Content is what creates sales, and sales come from your store, right? So it's an upward trajectory. But the money first flows from the customers, right? And the customers box is going to be the biggest box of all because that is the pool of audience that you want to be very large, your customers, right? And so your customers are going to see lots of content and it's going to create sales. Now, if you notice, each box here is gets smaller and smaller. The reason why I want to say that and the reason why I want to show that is because not every person who sees your product is going to purchase, right? They're potential customers, but not every single person is going to purchase. So let's say a thousand people see your design. Doesn't necessarily mean that all thousand are going to buy. It could be 20 people buy. It could be five people that buy. It could be one person that buys. It could be 10 people that buys. It just really depends on how well you're able to connect with your audience, which is why I said the more type of content that you have to show off your products. And by the way, you guys want to test different designs, but the more different, you know, style of products that you have, the more likely you are going to be able to appeal to a specific person. And the more likely you're able to do that, the more likely you'll be able to move of this up this pyramid, the sales pyramid, as I would say. And you know what? We're actually going to create videos in the future about this sales pyramid and, and really just explain it more in depth. But this method 
goes through with every single, you know, work. So if you're using Instagram, if you're using a blog, if you're using an email newsletter, it all works the exact same way, right? You have a, an audience and you promote a product to an audience. If they feel, you know, close to that audience, if, they, if the audience feels close to that product and feels like they can see themselves buying it, they're going to buy it. But here's the thing, guys. This is what you want to keep in mind is that the closer the connection is between the customer and the content, the more likely the person is going to purchase. If a consumer, and I'm just going to give an example, if I was, let's say, a 29-year-old female, right, and I saw this shirt and it was for sale and somebody came up to me in the street and said, please buy this, most likely I'm not going to buy it for myself. There might be somebody in my life that I might buy it for, but most likely for myself, I'm probably not going to buy it, right? Why? Because it says professional beard grower. Last time I checked, females are not beard growers. I mean, maybe there is a, a secret society of that kind of thing, but I don't know about it, right? But if you show this t-shirt to, let's say, a man with a beard, much more likely now do your chances go up for the actual sale. So the way that I can explain this is that the more the customer feels connected to the product, the more likely the product is going to get the sale or you're going to get more likely to sales. And the whole reason for that, like I said, is we need to have to we need to have multiple models. We need to have multiple different ways to promote our products. And that's essentially one of the ways that I use place it. Right. And this was a full tutorial as to how to do that. You want to download those images. You want to upload them to whatever marketing platform you're using. Like I said, it could be your blog. It could be Instagram. It could be an email marketing plot, whatever you want to do and whatever method you want to use to promote it. You can go ahead and do that. Now, if you need guidance on those things, if you need guidance on how to create a blog or, you know, how to do the Instagram marketing, all that's on our channel. We have literally over 700 videos. They're all there for you for the watching. So um, if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know. The thing is with this video, guys, is we just had to get this out of the way because this is one of the tools that we've been referencing in the past and I've been showing how to use in the past, but it's all we're also going to use it in the future. So nothing is really going to change here, but I just wanted to make this video so that we're all on the same page for the future, right? When I say, guys, I'm using Placeit to create, you know, the pictures for the marketing or whatever, I don't want somebody asking, right, how do I find this or how do I do that? And it's, for me, it's, the problem is not replying to the comment. You guys know I try to reply to all the comments or as much as I can. Um, for me, it's, I don't want somebody stuck behind. I want us to keep moving forward with speed and efficiency, all right? I'll talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching.